But um, on stream, we got we got Don versus Hindsight, True. Mario versus a Mii Sword Fighter. Um, I honestly think that Mii Sword Fighter actually does pretty good in this matchup. I think he does solid. The only thing that can be a little bit detrimental to him is that Mii Sword Fighter likes people who kind of get really committal to the way they approach you on shield. And then Mario's back air exists. So That's very true. It, it's easy for him to kind of fade in and out on him. And he also has a reflector and good mobility to get away from some of the traps that B Sword Fighter wants. Yeah, that's true. So he's not able to use like some of those projectiles for free. He can't just throw out the tornadoes, but the ability to reflect the fireballs like that is going to get a lot of chip damage and also derail some of the momentum that Don is trying to Yeah, create. you see how uh, Hindsight's kind of committed to the whole down thing. Like, I'm going to just try and poke you out so you don't approach on the ground. I want to force you to jump. But most of the air to airs will be in favor of Don. However, we're in Hindsight's happy range. This is down throw to up air ranges. Uh, he tried to bait him on that idea because he walked up where he looked like he would go for a throw. Oh, he actually instead, got taken off. He ends up losing for that. You made one whip and center directly in front of Mario's short hop up air. Congratulations but answered right back. Yeah, he was able to get that stock right back um, with the up air there. But yeah, I mean, that just goes to show the true strength of Mario, especially on a stage like this. The ladders are insane. Yeah, this stage, uh, even even with it being a little bit wider, Mario's distance coverage is so free. But he went a little, he was a little bit too far a away to bit. go for the forward air. Doesn't matter though, but Don saved his jump. He tried to get that footstool there, or maybe even a down air, but wasn't able to really get it in time. That was very quick on the recovery. Though. That is the hindsight class. Yes. Everybody has <laughs> been hit by that at least once, unless, except for maybe light. <laughs> but, maybe, uh, but like, light doesn't really let him do much. Yeah, he doesn't actually. Yeah, the match doesn't really last very long against light. But down throw up air is going to be close enough that just fell out of hit stun. So that's two times now where hindsight was in a good spot to possibly take, get the kill. He doesn't. Trying to get those fireballs, get some type of gimp off on the uh, on hindsight. Had all those recoveries though, and was able to make it back. And it's we're just, seeing already he's trying to apply pressure from a little bit of a distance. It's just me or does hindsight have a bit of a jump from ledge habit? He does. Uh, he's been jumping from ledge a lot. Yeah, I. I oh, really, that's gonna catch him. Oh, he actually took the hit on the best possible time he could have, because that's normally pretty free to line up a down smash at the ledge. Yeah, he wasn't able to get any follow up on that, which is crazy. Going to go like with the down tilts though, just applying pressure on shield. It seems very safe. Yeah, that's one of your fastest grounded options too, and Mario has plenty of those. So you want to go with your quickest frame option on the ground. That's why he's doing that from what I said before. Yeah, yeah you, just taking him right out. It's so good because like it's non-committal, it's easy to space, and you don't have to worry so much about like me sword fighter short hop airing you. Now at 151 percent though, I mean. The stock can't be too far away. He's already looking for some of the up tilts, one of the kill moves from there. Back air, going to take it even from center stage. I was actually the thing I was going to say he's probably going to hunt for because at 150 plus, you're away from down throw up air and you're pretty much out of uh, tornado up air too. So straight hit back airs are like what you look for, which hindsight can struggle sometimes finding, but he's gotten a lot better doing it. I love short distance chakram combos. I think they look really cool as they, you know, just hit forward and drive back. <laughs> what did he do? He just reflected he into the fireball, they, they right? They just stared at each other. <laughs> Don was looking for a roll. He got reflected and ended up taking like 30. <laughs> oh, he's His dead. Goodbye. Strong. Oh, he didn't get he hit by the sweet spot. That was actually the smartest thing he could have did too, was uh, going for the uh, reflector on stall. Because if he went for off E, he would not have made that back. So it looks like um, looks like Hindsight has been rolling out a little bit too much. We're going to see the Hindsight Classic, though, where he did SDs at least once a set. <laughs> one of these days, one of these days, Hindsight won't SD in a set. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I need him to stop. Like, literally, I just look at him at Major Show come up to me with, like, that face. I was like, don't, no, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear just it. Just stop SDing. Literally, that's all I want you to do is just cut it out. <laughs> just stop it. Just just stop it. It's like, but he was he was at a, such a high percent. Who's to say? Maybe he could have come back. Maybe he could have. But we'll never know because he, he just didn't give us the chance yeah, to see it. He's a lead trap monster. Now, I will say, uh, Don likes to ask people uh, which uh, Mario skin he's going to use throughout the day. Uh, he asked, I gave him the wedding skin, has not dropped the game since. So all I'm saying is, blessings upon thy friend. But also, uh, here on Hollow Bastion, pretty good counter pick for uh, Mii Sword Fighter. You have the ability to uh, go for our Chakram setups on that platform like we talked about before. And because of the distance of it, it's actually pretty easy to get the jab lock on the slow one on there. 
that's actually pretty good. So the distance of like how high the platform yeah, is. Yeah, so the, the full hop that he takes, or short hop, one of the two, I can't remember entirely, but uh, when you get, I think it's up tilt or down tilt, you go short hop, shock him. Ooh. Oh my god, I did not expect him to go for it there. That's why I didn't build that up. Usually they only go for it on the platform, but Don said I still got plenty of room to recover. He might he, die again. Oh, <laughs> oh he, he, my he god. Oh, okay. okay, he's good, he's good. But just the fact that he went for that twice and almost got it, and going for the up, he almost getting it off the top. This is nuts. I mean, Don is just playing on full throttle at this point. But uh, the down air is going to take the stock, and the tech is going to save hindsight. Uh, life. Yeah, it's, it's a hindsight lucky that he reacted quickly to that because uh, all that what? effort made, he's going to do it again. Oh, he did it. He actually used to get it. Interesting. That, see right there? Yeah, so I if see. You miss it covers the, tech, the whole thing. Yeah, that, if you miss the tech, that's a jab. But I think because of uh, where he positioned himself, he overshot it. I mean, a lot of cool things like about me, Sword Fighter, and what the character should do. Hindsight uses a lot of good tools in it too. Going to get the up air, not going to take it just yet. I like the follow up. Like hindsight doesn't let everything, like anything, like just end. Yeah, like uh, I mean, that's one of the biggest things about hindsight in general is that his whole his whole game plan is to like kind of smother you, but like without doing too much. He goes for up airs, excuse me, up tilts and throws to wait for your defensive options. He doesn't go immediately. But that's the majority of like the way Me Sword Fighter kind of works too. I don't think he burned his jump. He did not, but, but that last hit is going to take him out. He actually That's the first time I've ever seen that move kill off the right. <laughs> that's actually this is a brand this is a brand new world for the world oh. again. Well, well, went a little high. He actually didn't grab the ledge there at all and just lost his stock because I'm, his back air is a super good move. I'm curious if it was because he was facing the right, so he uh, can't yes. snap the uh, he didn't snap a ledge. Yeah, I couldn't remember if you could actually snap a ledge on the right, but even if you could. Ideally, it's like, okay, maybe I'll try to beat him out going there, but that was kind of risky. Uh, yeah. Don's looking for sure off up air over the right. Good answer from hindsight. That was a 12% reflected chakra. I mean, Don's looking for it. He's, he's looking for the setups into the uh, forwarder, because that's going to be the quickest way for him to net a stock. He's already trying to go for things. Hindsight answered back with, that was so close, but he's answering with, like, down to this. Yeah, well, now hindsight has him at, like, I think he just needs one more. That's okay, not that's not going to be it. But that was instant, uh, like, reaction on Don, so I think he DI'd up. Uh, you have to get away quickly. See, there yeah, it is. Okay. So earlier, remember what we were just saying? He uses up tilt and he uses uh, options to wait for your defensive option first. Yep. He knew at that window it wasn't going to kill, so he forced Don to go for a panic option with that jump, and then he could go cover it to guarantee that the up air will kill. Yeah, it's almost like a pseudo 50-50. He's just waiting for like his opponent to kind of do what he wants them to do. It's not like the true 50-50s that we used to have back in Smash 4. Where it was literally had like, one. Yeah, everybody it was ding had dong, one. Ding-dong, checkmate, the original one, hoo-ha. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, hoo the the hoo-ha. Oh, my God. That, that up here did everything. Yeah, there, was, there were infinite options that you had back then. But, but I mean, yeah, it's very pseudo like that. So... It's very good. I mean, you don't see that many players actually going for mm. stuff like that anymore. I think very few, like, light at the top level of play, he'll go for 50-50s at times, although a lot of times it, he'll It all depends just, on the character. Like, actually, yeah. you see a lot of it out of Steve, and actually, for that matter, it's you Steve do too. see it out of Mario's, too. Also, I was a liar, but look at the way that he just started <laughs> off that game up in his cooking. I he, mean, like, that's a clip and a half, I, I have to say. Like, Don is already going for another one from the lot I'm seeing. He's trying to get another forwarder and try and end this game in at least, you know, 30 seconds. He has not been hit yet. He has not. He's literally not been hit yet. He finally got hit. Wait, <laughs> did, why did Eptil do 15%? I have questions about these oh, Fighter. No, well, gone. I got no questions he's because gone. currently he has only taken a collective total of 15% here in game three. For hindsight, taking a deep breath, fixing his glasses. Uh, well, luckily for you, at least this is a best of five. Yeah, this is a best of five, so you still got at least two more games to play um, before you, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I actually, I, you know what? Sometimes you just have Mario game. Uh, sometimes I, it, well, it actually, is. okay, he is he is reading him left and right. Uh, that usually covers that very well, but it was a little bit too early on the trigger. Oh my I mean, god! What, I mean, Why what, not? what do you what, what, what do you even need to do? What do you lose there? What do you lose for waiting there? If anything, if anybody's watching to like try and figure out ways to cover options on get up, that's actually a really good way. You're up so much, there's no reason for you to uh, like press a button early. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you're only giving up the chance of hitting them maybe one time if they don't do anything, but you could get so much more. I, Josh, yeah, I swear. The way that he's playing. Okay, is just he, well, this fantastic. is over now at least. 
But I swear, if he off the reflected down B for me, Sword Fighter, got the forward air, I went and went out there and shook hindsight's hand for him. Like, no, you don't get to play another, you don't get another one. It, it, we do, this is now in a, just a safety best of three. We're going to call this a mercy best of three. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what an incredible rebuttal from Don after that first game. That was absurd. Yeah, no, that was a crazy. Right out the gate, was able to get that first stock, and then very shortly after, just climbed his way, getting that second stock. Very minimal damage, and still, he didn't lose a single stock in that game. No. And that game <laughs> lasted at least a minute, a little over a minute. I mean, it took 15% at one point. Uh, now, I was a little saying I was a liar before, is that, or at least because I pointed it out. Uh, Don hadn't lost a single game prior uh, when he had um, the wedding outfit. And then everything changed. Uh, hey, hello? This is us, dancing in the middle of this. Hi, YouTube comments, watching me with the, <laughs> the, what are you doing? You're like. <laughs> it's like I'm the final boss. I'm just, I'm just waiting for you to approach me. Is that the free form? Yeah, that's the free form. Yeah, that's, that's just only phase one. <laughs> Wait till y'all see phase three. That's all right, we got three phases because we're built like that. So phase we're going to go three, into. I come in a cop uniform. It's honestly, right. look, we're going to need <laughs> hindsight to hit phase two right now because <laughs> uh, that was a, a speed run to get. Okay, he taunted to start. And a taunt from Don, too. They're both just saying, yeah, you know what? That last game, it, it never happened. I know. Don knows that last game happened. Oh, no. I, I know Don I, knows dude, we, we know Daryl well. <laughs> There's the world where he's not letting him know that. But uh, this is something that Hindsight does do sometimes, is that he'll slow the game down to a crawl with the intentions of trying to get you to make mistakes. Now, that being said, he almost died right there because he got hit out of his jump. He so. still might. I mean, he's still in a disadvantaged state, able to make it back to the center stage at least. Yeah, but Don is just ruthless. Like I got put him down. Put him down. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, this is the reasons why I was looking at this when we said that to start like it. Yeah, me, Sword Fighter, could probably do well here. But because of the inherent burst ranges that Mario has and how he doesn't have to get to the middle on a lot of things, there's not a big sword attached to me, Sword Fighter. If that no, had more yeah. range, I would be a little bit indifferent. But uh, hindsight is uh, struggling, to say the least. That being said, he's, he's actually not too bad. Back a little. That was, I don't know if I'll call that a super obvious grab. Because 89% with the rage, that was down throw up air percents. But, but still, Don saw it all the way through it. Yeah, exactly. He was able to uh, react without any like any problems there. But uh, as far as like the stage pick, I mean, as you saw earlier, like Don went for the ladder combo and hindsight was able to live. The higher blast zone on the top is definitely helps with that. Yeah, and well, let's we'll see if we'll it helps it this time. Di to the right corner. Yeah, it's helpfully. It's helping him a bit uh, in terms of like reacting. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that. Got it. He had that read. He, he just didn't pull it. He is deep in his cranium right now. He is living directly inside of Bridgeport, Hindsight, Connecticut. Uh, how does he find a way around he this? Does not. Does it goes all the way off stage? And he, it's not like he hasn't done that before. But Hindsight hasn't had an answer to these super aggressive backers. No, I mean, he doesn't. He hasn't had a single answer. He's been so focused on recovering and getting back to the stage that he's not anticipating Don going out there. Yeah, he's the, he's going to need to find something soon because he's currently down three stocks to one. Uh, Don is going off. He's trying to find that falling up air. Like, he wants it really bad. Yeah, he's trying to find something here as, as he's trying to cling, to cling to that last stock that he has here. I don't know if he's going to be able to find it soon because he's. The, this is where me sword fighter is weak. When you're out of down throw uh, up air ranges, but going all the way up stage, that's the first time we see him commit that deep to an edge guard. Yeah, he actually held on to like you know everything that he had, red dawn, and was able to get that stock pretty cleanly. 58 is not bad, but he needs to take the stock you know as quickly as he can because Don is just on fire. You can't afford to let him continue to rev the way he has. Yeah, Don is like he wanted to panic air dodge down too, and now like it, conditioning is one thing, but also you can't make any more mistakes. Like no, in behind, uh, me sword fighter is not a like super. Na oh well, your jump, your jump's gone. Oh my god, he's super committed for that. I <laughs> thought I thought back. Don SD'd. I thought he went way too far for that. But it's uh, he's got all the time yeah. in the world to go out there and get that back air, and that's gonna be Don getting the second, uh, the, the fourth game, game number four. I mean, that was just very, very confident uh, gameplay from Don. He just took both those last games super confidently. Yeah, that was actually like we said, dominance. Uh, he had he had everything queued up, done, and ready to go. Uh, don't mind me, I am just updating the bracket from my phone. Um, we got uh, G Extreme and Skink coming up next. Which okay. is going to be, uh, I mean, gee, I think he's been playing me, so, well, not me, so fighter, uh, Steve, pretty much all day. Uh, I could see Might Pikachu well. coming out here, but I, honestly, I don't really see a reason to not go Steve against Pit. Like, why not? 
Yeah, I mean, Steve versus Pit is pretty good. Uh, Steve's not really throwing out any projectiles, so Reflector isn't really a thing. Pit's sword is not that large. Well, Orbitars do work against um, Minecart and yeah, on the but initial like, startup, but like, that's also a really baitable thing. So like, yeah. sometimes people will say, oh, you know, that works. And yeah, it works in like sometimes, but when uh, you get like, especially when you get your weapon re-up, right. once you get the gold or diamond uh, and you become obvious with those, you're going to take a huge punish. Yeah. It does reflect Anvil, though. So I could yeah, see, I could see it being used on Anvil occasionally. Um, arrows, though, like if you have a block in front of it, it's going to take a point of damage off of it. But but as far as, like, um, you know, having ways around blocks yeah, yeah, yeah. and his build, like, Pit doesn't really have a lot to get past blocks. Like, uh, well, like effectively, like, poke through.